Hey, this is Joe from Joe's Internet Marketing.com, and we just changed our DNS servers, our DNS name servers, for a domain that we have at GoDaddy.com. And the domain that we had changed was BeginnerBasePlayer.com. This is a domain that I own, and we're going to set this up as a website. Um, we just changed the name servers to point to our HostGator account. So now we're going to go over to HostGator and we're going to create an add-on domain and I'll show you how to do that. So here's my HostGator cPanel. Pretty typical if you have HostGator, this will look very, very familiar to you. And so what you want to do, we're going to kind of scroll down here and there's a lot of different features and, and functions that, that HostGator gives you when you uh, use them as web hosting. But the one that we're very interested in is this one right here under the domain section add-on domains. If you click on that, we're going to create a new domain name. And the domain name, if you remember, if we go back over here, is beginner, oops, beginnerbaseplayer.com. And you want to enter that exactly as that is. Beginnerbaseplayer.com. Now, it's very important that you spell this exact. Now, what I could have done is I could have just I could have just come over here and copied what's here in this field over but uh, I'm a little picky and what that'll do is that would paste this in all capitals um, I like to ha I prefer to have it in all lowercase so I might as well just type it in so as soon as you type that in you get a little green check mark here everything's good and it'll pre-fill in all these other all these other uh, fields so the subdomain FTP username by default it's going to create a username for uh, your new domain name is going to be the same username as your domain name. Um, you can keep that or if you want you can replace that with a, a, a different username that's more common or something that's more secure. It's up to you. Document root and this is the f this is going to be the folder. They're going to, this uh, the cPanel is automatically going to create a folder called beginnerbaseplayer.com the same as your domain name under your public underscore HTML folder. So now what we want to do is we want to create a password. Now this password, I would suggest you make it um, pretty secure. Uh, letters, numbers, and maybe even um, you know maybe I can throw in a capital or or some kind of alternate character like a uh, dollar or percent sign or something like that to make it a little bit more secure. Whatever it is, but as long as you remember what it is and you don't forget it you're good to go. Just one thing, you don't want to forget what your password is. So I'm going to put my password in here. Um, and I put it in again twice. And then to know that I've typed it in exactly the same, it gives me a little check mark. and also gives me, tells me the, the strength of what it is. Now if you don't want to come up with a password, you can use this password generator. It'll, it'll create a password, uh, just a very random uh, password for you, but um, those are often hard to uh, remember. So you you know unless you want to create that and then save it, then that's fine. After that, just click on this Add Domain button. Wait a couple minutes, and the system goes out and basically creates the the folder structure on on your server the way it needs to. Um, it'll set up your web server for the new uh, the new domain name and you'll be good to go. So there we go. Beginnerbaseplayer.com has been created. Uh, would you like to manage the files for this? If so, so here you can go right into File Manager from here and you can start adding files. So what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, check to see, well, actually I'm sorry, we're going we're gonna to install WordPress next um, in our uh, setting up this new website. We've got the, the add-on domain created. Now we're going to go in and we're going to set up WordPress. So this is Joe from internetmarketing.com, Joe's internetmarketing.com. And uh, I'll see you next time on the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.